Peggy 16. Welcome to Werewolf, the Apocalypse Earthblood, an action RPG set in the world of darkness. You play a werewolf called Kahal, and you're fighting Andron, an oil company destroying the environment. In this mission, Kahal and his pack need to sabotage some flare stacks. With help from Ava, a guru from the Glasswalker tribe, and a computer specialist, they managed to hack into the first flare stack. Ava, I've connected you to the first flare stack. Using his shape-shifting ability, Kahal can transform into a wolf to move around faster. You can transform into three different forms, and each one has distinct gameplay mechanics. The human form is used for social and environment interactions. The wolf form is the best form for infiltration and exploration, and the Krynos form is used for combat. By selecting and alternating between these forms, you can choose which approach to use for the different situations you encounter during the game. If infiltration fails, the Krynos form is often the only choice you have left. In combat, the Krynos has two stances. The first is designed for agility, allowing the beast to move around quickly and perform fast attacks while having great mastery of the terrain. Rage is central to combat. It builds up as you deal damage to the enemies and allows the Krynos to perform special moves. Confronted with stronger enemies, the Krynos will want to switch to the more powerful stance, which sacrifices agility for greater strength and resistance. By switching between these two stances, you will be more effective during combat. Guru are vulnerable to silver bullets, and some of Endron's guards use them for ammo. Damage from silver is not healed by the Krynos' healing ability. Therefore, it removes a portion of your health bar for the duration of the fight. After the fight is finished, Kahal can transform into human form and continue his mission. Let's try an alternative approach in a different mission. Kahal is now in Nevada, in an area Endron controls as part of its oil extraction plans. It is drilling the surrounding areas without any consideration for its impact on the environment and the planet. In this mission, Kahal is trying to collect data on Endron's plans so they can leak it into the media. But before he can do that, he needs to deal with lots of guards on his way. So, let's start with some reconnaissance in the wolf form, so we can choose which building to infiltrate first, and view the extent of the damage caused by Andron. Using his penumbra vision, Kahal can detect the presence and type of enemies he faces, which helps him decide which approach to use to fulfill his objectives. In this case, we're going to use a stealth approach at first to make the task easier. After exploring the surrounding area, we have found an air duct that we can use to enter this area without using the main door. The wolf form is ideal for taking this narrow route. Let's try to eliminate as many guards as possible using stealth. Each eliminated enemy increases Kahal's rage. This rage is stored and can be used in combat when he changes into the Krynos form. Rage can also be increased by consuming flasks found while exploring the different levels. You can also use Penumbra Vision to locate the control panels of reinforcement rooms as well as detect silver and those armed with it. Let's first discreetly handle the snipers.
If the enemy is too far away for a silent takedown, or there's a risk of being spotted, Kahal also has a crossbow for these exact situations. If it's equipped with electric bolts, it can also be used to deactivate security cameras or, in this case, damage the doors of reinforcement rooms so that the enemies take damage when they come out. But let's start a fight, because our mission is still to eliminate Enron security. Now we're in Krynos form, and we're faced with a large exoskeleton. Thanks to the rage that has built up during our stealthy approach, we can use two abilities to quickly deal with this threat. In certain areas, the environment can both be an advantage and a danger. Some enemies are possessed by a band, an evil spirit that can transform them into Fomori and give them various lethal mutations. Now that the Frenzy Bar is full, the Krynos can assume a third stance, Frenzy. While in a Frenzy, the Krynos has all the benefits of the other two stances, but can no longer use special abilities, and loses a certain amount of control of his combos. This state lasts until the Frenzy Bar is emptied.